So an important part of growing seedlings is potting them up. So I've planted some seeds and used soil blocks this year, and I'm pretty happy with the amount of germination that's been happening. But I really want these to be in the appropriate sized container for them to continue to grow. So generally, all we can see is the above ground part of the plant. So that's the stem and the cotyledons as they emerge, and then the first set of new leaves, second set, and so on. But as important as what's happening above ground is what's happening below ground. So the roots are down there and they are growing vigorously as well. And they need to have enough space to grow as well as the medium needs to be uh, fertile enough and aerated enough that they can move around. Roots actually will breathe and roots will absorb nutrients from the soil uh, as well as the water from the soil that's needed by the plant and keeping it all in check and healthy is essential. So depending on what kind of containers you have to start your seeds, uh, you're gonna be potting up at different rates and at different times. So this year I've been using soil blocks. So I'm starting off some of my seeds in these tiny, tiny little soil blocks. And then pretty much as soon as they're germinating, I'm potting those up into bigger ones. So I'm doing this with some seeds like parsley seeds that need quite a bit of time to germinate and may have erratic germination rates. So it's easy for me just to uh, take up a small amount of space in my seeding room with a lot of different parsley seedlings on one tray. And then as soon as I see uh, the cotyledons emerge, I'm just potting those up into bigger soil blocks. And I'm using the little soil block uh, attachment that makes it really easy to pot up from one soil block size to another. It pots up super fast and super simple. I don't find it to be uh, annoying or messy and it also doesn't disturb the roots at all. So it's a very clean process and a very uh, safe process for the plant because as soon as the little guy goes in there, they just start growing uh, all the way to the edges. So we're gonna end up with some really nice, robust, hardy parsley plants. So before you pot up, you wanna start with a wet potting medium. I'm adding water to the potting soil. I'm adding quite a lot. And then I'm going to mix it well. And before you pot up any of your seedlings, you also want to make sure that they are watered very well. And that'll keep the soil from falling off the roots and it'll hold the whole thing together. As well, I'm planting up these asparagus seedlings. So I grew these from seed in soil blocks and I want to plant them into these three and a half inch pots. So these are just pretty standard nursery pots that I save every year when I buy uh, transplants at nurseries. These are great and durable plastic that I can use year after year. So we're going to take these pots and so you can fill each of your pots halfway with soil and then just gently put the soil block on top of the soil and then fill in a little bit more around the edge. There's about a centimeter space all the way around the edge. Because the root is mostly growing straight down, it's really going to have minimal root disturbance. That's the most important thing when you're transplanting your seedlings is just trying not to disturb the roots. You also want to avoid touching the stem. If you have to pick them up and move them around, you don't want to touch the stem and damage it because it has so many cells in it that are moving nutrients up and down. Uh, if you need to grab onto one of the leaves and hold it by that instead, whole thing together. So there I've got my plant potted up. And so that's gonna be given a new home and it's not probably not even gonna notice and it's just gonna continue growing.